Um, we have the same um, police powers as our. Oh, you do. Department. Do you carry gu weapons? You carry guns. Yes. Okay. Can I ask you something? But it's off. It's not from regarding this. Yeah, please. Can you tell me how the water is in Kowloon? The best. No, I mean today. You mean drinking water or no, rain? No, the um, the ocean. Oh, it's it's pretty nice. There's actually a yacht out down from my house. I was. I was to go fishing this weekend, and but there's supposed to be a big swell coming in, and uh, where do you they fish? Call like you go to South Point? Yeah, I mean, wherever. But they said they're supposed to have a king tide. And... I'd ask, I'd ask the fisherman. I'm not a fisherman. Oh yeah, because oh, okay. <laughs> I know the water can get pretty mean down there. Yeah. Well, what happens is you know it comes around that point, and mm. the water's so real rough. Around? It's real rough on the left side, but on the on the right side in the bay there, it's really nice. And I just saw on the news that there's supposed to be a, a, a large swell coming out from the salt. So if anything's going to hit there first, so you might just escalate whatever rough water they have down there already. Were you going to Were you going to go on a boat? No, just short oh. Do you live here? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you came from Oahu. No, no, I came from down here to go up there to, to oh. um, give you the papers. Okay. So you don't work for the attorney You just told me you work for the Attorney General. The, the who? Didn't you tell me you work for the Attorney General? I did. But you work here on, for the Attorney General? Yeah. Okay. And where is he? I don't know. Is it Doug Chin? Yes. Okay, because on, on like this document here, it doesn't say. It says Russell somebody. Right? Right. So, Russell that? Suzuki. He is the... Zuki? Suzuki? Suzuki. Suzuki. Oh, nice. Okay. I, oh, a couple of things. This this was not, you know, you, you served me this thing, but um, the certificate, the insurance services is blank. Yeah, I mean, on his copy, I filled it out. Well, how come mine doesn't have it? Isn't it supposed to? Are you going to mail me one or something, or what? How does that work? No, that's our um, certification that it was served upon you, that which is going to be... You yeah, know, but there's no... Okay, if that's true, then why do you have this in accordance with Section 28-2.5? Is that for you or is that for me? Let me see that. That's your, that's your notification. This is return of services for us to show uh, our office that we did meet with you and yeah. provide you with this particular document. Okay, because I, I, well, you understand too that I'm not under the jurisdiction of Section 28-2.5. You understand that, right? No, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm telling you, I'm informing you right now, I'm not under okay. this jurisdiction. So I didn't have to come here today, but I'm coming here because I want to want to help you guys out. Because, you, you know, well, I'll you tell don't you know. I'm sorry? Okay. Please, can you see? Okay, well, what I wanted to do first, and let me get Documents together. Yeah. Um. You requested, according to the rules that I read, I went, I went to this site where you have this, your rules that you have for you, you guys. Okay. And it says that you wanted documents. In fact, I think it says on the front page also, it says that you're requested to bring with you pleadings submitted regarding civil case number 3RC 161473K. So I brought those. There's 333 pages. Okay. And I, I brought you an invoice. I thought maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I left it somewhere. Oh, here it is. And uh, according to your rules, I I spent about six hours accumulating and copying these documents. Are you aware of the what I'm talking about? No, I'm not. Oh my goodness. No, I mean I'm not aware of how many hours you. you oh, spent. I mean, but you understand what I'm explaining. I'm describing that I spent six hours accumulating 333 copies for you. At your request, correct? 
Yes, I requested the documents okay. contained inside. Okay, thanks. Well, let me just get started right here. I'm going to tape record this session. And let me just do a test. I'm just going to do a test recording to make sure that I get everything, that, that it works. Uh, testing, testing. Uh, today is May 24th, 2017. I also brought you a list of, list of references and uh, some other victims of the act, criminal activity of David Russell and um, his wife. And there's actually other people. He's involved with a gang of people. Small gang, I think. I hope. This is uh, Special Agent Terrence S. Miyasato with the Investigations Division, Department of the Attorney General. The following is a tape recorded interview with um, Mr. William Michael Gilroy, um, oh, a.k.a. Deny, Bill, uh, Billy. Yeah, I, I deny anything, any association to having a name. Okay. Um, uh, would I still be able to, I just have to do that for identification purposes? Yeah, it's not correct, though. I don't like, I don't appreciate that at all. Okay. Uh, what would you like to be called? Because we're, you're, you're pulling me into a commercial jurisdiction. I'm not a commercial person. Okay. And that, and, okay. Uh, what would you like to be called then? Please call me Billy. Okay, I'll call you Billy. And for the rest of the recording, I'll call you Billy. Um, uh, but I just wanted to let you know that the case, and the only mm -hmm. way I know you is by this, except for now. Well, by Billy now, okay. There's a whole bunch of criminal things that are happening when you put when they put that name on on paper. Okay. Um, and I, you guys, it's it's not to your advantage at all to do that, but. Okay, but I'll call you Billy. Thank you. Okay. Uh, at the uh, West Hawaii Civic Center. Today's date is May twenty fourth, twenty seventeen. Time now is uh, twelve oh seven hours. This is in regard to an allegation of the unauthorized practice of law and harassment under a case, uh, AG case uh, number 17-0575, uh, which occurred on about, on or about between December 2016 to the present, to about February 2017. Um, okay, Billy, I understand what you were saying. Um, about there's a lot of criminal things going on with the usage of William Michael Gilroy. However, just for the purposes of this interview, um, would I have you be able to say, uh, state, and spell your full and correct name? I don't have a name. Okay. I have an appellation. Uh, what's that? Well, I mean, I don't understand what that means. Okay, well, a name is, it can be anything. This table could have a name. Uh, an animal can have a name. I'm, a, I'm unique. I'm a human being. I'm made in the image of God. Okay. So I don't have a name, but I have an appellation. Okay, what, what's your appellation? Appellation. I, I, well, my mother called me Billy. Okay. Or I could be called William, as named after my father. Okay. And that's, I have a middle appellation of Michael. Okay. And uh, I come from, my, my family is all from a family called Gilroy. Okay. So I call myself William of the Family Gilroy, and it's on all my documents. Okay, William of the Family Gilroy. Yeah. Would I be able to call you that, or would you not? Like I prefer me to you that? call me Billy because, Billy. Um, you know, it, in in all fairness, you can call me either one. But just for the sake of this interview, I I do not want you to use the legal name because I cannot answer to it. I didn't. I didn't. The the legal name was stolen from me at birth. It was stolen from you. It was stolen from you. Do you know that? You guys aware of that? The legal name is not your name. It's not you. It's a, it's a creation of a corporation. And so when you put that legal name on a paper, mm -hmm. it's not, it's, it belongs to the creator. 
Like if you, if you start a corporation, you are the person who is responsible for that corporation. That's the same thing. They took the name, they put it in all capitals, and they claimed it. So they were responsible. So any claims you have against someone in that name, what has to go to the responsible party. Mm -hmm. And it, right now it's Margaret Masanaga. She's claimed it. Claimed which name? I'm... She claimed the name that you just said. It's on those documents because she said in court, I plead not guilty for the name. Okay. So she assumed the persona of that person. And she can do so because she's a member of the bar who's the bar has a license to use these names. I don't have a license to use those names. Okay, well, let's just... Okay. Get... <laughs> but there's this... I don't even care about that. What I care about is, is David Rudisill and Carol Zimmerman okay. and their complicity to Margaret Masanaga. Why is Margaret assisting these people are really bad criminals? Okay. Well, you know, I'm not here to talk about that per se. I'm, I'm here to talk about the allegation... Mm -hmm. of the unauthorized practice of law and harassment. Okay. Okay. And that's what I'm you know, here to talk about and nothing else. Right. What is unauthorized? Unauthorized. Okay, well, let me, may I get through this and then we can discuss that if you choose to continue to do yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. So, once again, so we'll just say Billy or um, William of the family, your way. Okay, but you prefer to be called Billy, so I'll it go ahead and call you Billy. Probably. Okay. What is your age? Um, I'm declining from answering that. Okay. Because this is what they ask in court, and it's like it sets a, a president. I'm, I'm just okay. declining. I'm sorry. Then that, that's fine. Just say you're not going to answer that. I understand. That. That's cool. Um, date of birth? I'm declining. Okay. Thank you. Did you graduate from high school? Declined. How about from college? Declined. Okay. Can you read, write, and understand the English language? I'm sorry, you probably think no, this no, is No, 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 no. It's my okay. friend says, these guys must think we're total assholes. No. But, you, but no, I understand no. what's happening. Okay. And, and however, you know, however you want to answer, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, you okay, know, it's, thanks. it's... You're, you're really a courteous, nice person. It, it's, I, I don't want to... It's your... No. I hope you don't try to harm me. I hope you try to, don't try to injure me, because so far you... It seems like you are. I haven't, I haven't received a claim. And you're, you're already investigating crime. I haven't even received a claim. Well, let me get through this and then I can ex explain that. But there's a few more things that I have to take care of preliminarily uh, as a matter of practice for our office. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just things that, you know, uh, the normal course of business that we have to and I have I to know, do. I know, I understand. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> All right. I just, I'm also just trying to help you see. I, I understand that and I appreciate that. But, you know, so that's why your okay. answer is to like not, not wanting to answer. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that is I'll your I'll try to answer what I, okay. what I feel is fair. All right. No, no, but, no problem. But I, I mean, you guys already know this stuff. It's in the computer. I, it's redundant to ask this stuff, isn't it? No, uh, we don't take it personal. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. We don't take it personal. It's just a procedure that we have to go through. Yeah, this and is a corporation. I'm not in a corporation. Yeah. I'm not a corporation. I'm not for sale. Yeah, and if you don't want to answer, that's fine, too. <laughs> yeah. you know, this respect, is all corporate stuff. That. Okay. I'm not a corporation. All right. Okay. Um, but I just need to just get through them. Uh, Billy? Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you have any problems understanding me? Um, uh, somewhat, because I, I feel that you're going to use terminology that may be interpreted as, as a language of law, and I don't know the language of law. Okay. Um, so, so, somewhat. Okay. 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 I mean, we can take this document, I can start from the very top, and I can show you what I'm talking about, but... I'm just saying I don't understand the language of law. Okay. If you speak in the language of diction and you promise me that you'll respect that and only speak in the language of diction, then I can converse with you. Okay. I'll try. Um, and language of diction, you mean just layman's? Just what you hear on the street. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll try to do that as best I can, unless I have to use something from Yeah, from that's law. a problem. I mean, okay. look at this. This is full of it. Okay. How about this? Um, are you taking any type of medication? And the only reason why that question is, is that if there any right. medication that Competency, you may be taking? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I'm going to decline. I mean, okay. that's a personal question. And right. I don't know you. I mean, really, I just met you no a few problem. minutes ago. Uh, did you drink any alcohol or take yeah, any declining. illegal? Okay. But I'll tell you, I don't. I don't. Okay, don't. I'm not in substances at all. Okay. Um, I, mean, I might look like it, but I'm not. 
And if you read my documents, you're going to know that this guy probably is not in the social team. Okay. He's a pretty heavy dude. Uh, you do not have to make any statements to me. Do you understand this? Uh, of course. Okay. Uh, is anybody forcing you to make a statement to me? Yes. Okay. Right. Well, let me stop you there. If I didn't appear today, would I have had a arrest warrant issue for me? That is not up to me. Um, that would be up to the uh, attorney in charge of the case, whom at this yeah. particular time. But it's possible. Mm, well, it says that the obedience of this might be, may be enforced Has by the Has anybody person. ever not shown up for a subpoena and gotten arrested? That I'm not sure of. Not in my, oh. pre, you know, not in my okay. limited. So that's why you, when you say, am I forced to be here, I, I, I believe that if I didn't appear today, that there would be some kind of retaliation or something. So that's why I'm here. But I, I you know, you, you guys, well, I don't know what you're, I was going to ask you what, well, let's finish this because I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, are you being tricked or coerced into making a statement? Tricked or coerced. I am being coerced, yes. Okay, has anything been promised to you before making this statement? Uh, yes. Are you making the statement of your own free will? <laughs> okay, I'm going to say yes to that. Because I want you guys to look at this. This is really bad what these people are doing to people. And you got the wrong guy. I mean, I'm not a criminal. I'm not hurting anybody. But I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, now, Billy, I'm, I'm in a bit of a you know, situation right here because, um, you know, basically you're saying that, um, you know, by the subpoena and, you know, basically you're being... Um, I mean, you understand that you don't have to make a statement to me, yet you feel that you're being forced to make a statement, are being tricked and coerced, and I've uh, promised you something for the statement. So, you know, really, um, I see. that being the case, mm -hmm. I'm not sure I can even you continue can't go forward. with right. this because I don't want you to yeah. feel coerced into saying anything. Well, you if know. I appear in court, it's all coercion. Okay. You realize that. No, I, Everything that happens to a person is coercion. You don't go. I don't go to court because I want to go and I want to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. I go there because if they don't, if I don't show up, they're going to arrest me. They're going to hurt me. And they, who put me in a place where I don't know what's going to happen? They're going to take away my freedom. They're going to kidnap me. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a corporate person. These these statutes only apply to. You know what the word statutory means? Where it comes from? Oh. Do you? Where does it come from? They used to have commercial courts mm -hmm. for commerce uh, you and mean, co international mean. commerce. Okay. And they renamed them statutory so that they could make rules like this to violate people's rights. So, and I said, I'm not commercial. I'm not in business. I'm not selling stuff on the road. I'm not getting paid to drive on the road. Mm -hmm. And these documents... For one thing, they're not unauthorized. And for another thing, they're not practiced. I'm not practicing law. And I, I don't have to tell you guys that. But I, I'm probably going to have to tell somebody. But I'm not practicing law. Practice. What is practice? I don't have a sign. I don't get paid. I'm helping me. and I'm helping my friends and myself defend ourselves. That's it. We've been attacked, and we're, being, and we're defending ourselves. Is that, is, that a, is that a crime? You're treating it like it's a crime. You're saying you're conducting an investigation into harassment. I was the one who was harassed. I'm defending myself. And now I'm the harasser. Well, Mr. I'm sorry, Billy. Um, well, as I, as I mentioned, just, you know, regarding this and in speaking, I guess, simple language that both you and I can understand, you know, the last questions here about being coerced and tricked, I mean, that mm -hmm. makes it very okay. tenuous for me to, to, to go forward, but you did appear. Thank you. You know, um, and, and I presented and you. You did present that the in accordance with the, uh, the, the, the subpoena. I hope somebody can look at that because 
It's not a joke. It's, it's torture what they are doing to these people. Myself, this poor lady, Renee, this, these people sold her five acres. She's not even in here. She sold her five acres, took $65,000 of her money. She built a house on this oh. land, charged her $1,400 a month rent, and then he drove her off. She couldn't, she, five kids. Woman with five kids. So this is your criminal here. Okay? Um, this is what you want to investigate. Okay. David Rudisill. Mr. Gilroy, um, I'm sorry, Billy. My, my bad, right. Mr. Uh, Billy. Um, okay, so the next questions I had was, um, you know, I'm going to show you a form called Cautioning Persons of Their Constitutional Rights Against Self-Incrimination. Oh, the, the Mirandas. The Mirandas. Yeah. Okay. Um, but based on your responses to the questions here, I'm not even sure um, if this is... Well, because I'm denying consent to statutory jurisdiction, I'm not a commercial person. Okay. I'm a people. I'm a living flesh people. Okay. Well, Billy, then would I be able to read you these rights and then um, have you indicate that you understand them? And then if okay. you... You're speaking the language of law now. Um, you don't realize it, maybe. Okay. When you say understand, you know, in the language of law, that means, do you stand under my authority? If you say, do I understand this and I sign this, it means I stand under this authority, and I don't. Okay. Then what, how would you put that in plain language? Then? I, I don't know. Well, what does it say? Let me read it. Because um, you're asking uh, me um, to sign it, right? Are you going to sign it also? Um, well, you're a witness, right? Well, um, Stephen, Stephen can be a, a witness. Unless you want care. me to be I a mean, witness. I mean, you can have anybody be a okay, witness. Okay, okay. But, well, but I want to talk about... Why don't we just read it together? When two people sign a document, it's a contract. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if this thing... Okay, see what it says right here? Okay. Um, Billy... Uh, basically, I just want to kind of, kind of get through through this. I mean, so that you have things to do, you know. And if you're not in agreement with it, okay. Uh, but that's one of the things, as I mentioned, that okay. I need to. I can see I can't sign that. It's full of fraud. Okay. Um, I've never seen one before, but it's got fraud all over it. Okay. Okay. It's got state of Hawaii. It should say state of Hawaii corporation. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. The case number could be a could be a bond. I don't know what you guys what they do. I don't know what they do with that. I'll tell you stuff. what. Uh, to make it um, maybe simple, simpler, or just to kind of cut through it. You don't agree with this at all. This this form. How can I? It's, look at look at the name on it. Okay, if I were to put Billy, but, yeah, but, it, it but, you, but you still would not. You know, I would love to use my name. I've been using it for fifty some years, Billy. sixty years. I've been using this name. I've been oh, using it for okay. sixty years. And then I found out it's not mine. I don't have control over it. Okay. So basically, with this um, with this form here, you don't agree with it, and you won't sign it, even if I read it to okay. you. And Look at okay. It says persons their constitutional rights. What constitution? Which constitution is it speaking of? Uh, There's three. Did you know that? You're an investigator. You got to learn this stuff. Okay. All right, Billy. Uh, Billy uh, I think. Uh, the, That's why they can say that. Yeah. Okay. I think Billy. Then the you know the interview is. I'm going to okay, conclude it. Thanks, Terrence. <laughs> but you I, did. You did. I know a, this stuff. I know what's going on. You need to learn this. Okay. But, because you you could be violating someone's rights. But again, you appeared with the subpoena, yeah. and you appeared on time, and you appeared you. with whatever you needed to provide me, which were the documents, okay. the pleadings that you provided, which and so you're good. Okay. Thanks. Are you going to be able to talk to these people? Uh, no, because this this is concerns... simply this issue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. But I, it's a shame you can't really do your job, which is catching criminals. Because I'm not a criminal. Thank Just you for coming myself. in. No? Appreciate it. Thank you for coming in. Oh, I appreciate thanks. it. All right, Billy. Okay. Thank, thank you, sir. Sorry. So, no. I'm,